Atherosclerosis is characterized by the formation of fatty deposits in the interior walls of the arteries. Over time, the atherosclerotic plaque progresses, as characterized by the development of a lipid core containing fat, calcium, connective tissue, and a variety of cells, and the formation of a fibrous cap. As the atherosclerotic plaque gets bigger, it extends along the arterial wall and protrudes into the lumen. This partial occlusion within the coronary artery decreases blood flow, resulting in a lack of oxygen supply to the myocardial cells. Clinically, this can manifest as symptoms of unstable angina. Typically, atherosclerotic plaques with high lipid content and thin fibrous caps are vulnerable to rupture. When a vulnerable plaque ruptures, circulating platelets undergo the process of adhesion, mediated primarily by von Willebrand factor exposed on the subendothelium. Platelet adhesion facilitates the activation of platelets. The extrinsic and intrinsic coagulation pathways are activated. Circulating thrombin activates platelets. Activated platelets undergo the release reaction, releasing granules containing adenosine diphosphate, fibrinogen, von Willebrand factor, thromboxin A2, and others. These substances recruit additional platelets from the circulation to the site of injury and mediate the process of platelet aggregation. In addition, expression of glycoprotein 2B3A receptors on platelet cell surfaces is increased substantially. These GP2B3A receptors bind to fibrinogen to create crosslinks between thousands of platelets, leading to platelet aggregation. The thrombus can eventually completely occlude the coronary artery, or it can break free of the arterial wall, travel to a smaller vessel, and completely block blood flow within that vessel. Complete obstruction of a coronary vessel causes ischemia and, eventually, a myocardial infarction.